Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Asphyxiating Cries, the new album from my recent interview guest, Madzilla. Something's not right. I know. Movie magic! Not, the guys were nice enough to gift me with the shirt of baby Madzilla here. Chomping on a finger. I like it. Um, I'll put a link to their online store down there. And of course, gotta rep the old merch here. It's, it's winter. It's cold out. So uh, if you want some warm weather Room 6 merch, link's down there as well. Room6.shop. Now then, on to the review. If you'd like to be on the channel yourself, whether reviewed or interviewed or both, hit me up by clicking the social media link in the description. Feel free to subscribe while you're down there, too. I'd appreciate it very much. The boys in Madzilla have been releasing one song at a time on this CD, and I'm looking forward to the day when it's available in its entirety. And in the meantime, we'll just have to take what we get. And you'll like it, maggot. Don't worry, I'm just kidding. The album kicks off with Rain, which has a corresponding video that I'll link to in the description. Starting off with air raid sirens and a warning that this is not a drill, the song comes out of the gate with a blistering pace and dive-bombing guitars before settling into a slightly discordant riff with sinister whispers. From there, the song becomes classic metal a la Iron Maiden with layered high-pitched vocal harmonies, power chords, and lyrics like, Your destiny fulfilled. The truth stays unrevealed. There's hope within their fear, lies whispered in their ears. Now may your reign begin and everyone kneel. No one can see your kills as they worship all your dreams. With choppy and precise backbeats, guitar solos that scream yet fit the song perfectly, and vocals that sit in the pocket instead of drawing focus to the singer, this track is a great way to start the album. Song number two is Endless Damnation, kicking off with an infectious guitar riff and pounding drum beat before everyone joins the party. I am the one who knocks. This one's pretty straightforward, but it rocks. Making good use of double kick drums and the guitar riff to uh, drive the song forward, we're treated to a tasty guitar solo with more screaming dive bombs and squeals. This one also comes across a little more prog rock or math rock, which gives vocals like shattered hopes and dreams no denying, breathe this disease, hell will show no fear, death intoxicating your screams. A nice palette to paint the story on. The third track is the titular Asphyxiating Cries. If you saw my interview with them, this was the song in the music video at the end. Seriously, go check it out after this video. We had a blast. Combining classic metal riffs with almost chant-like vocals, this one begs for a crowd to chant along with it. There's also some nice song breaks and turnarounds. For some reason, it reminded me of something out of the movie Heavy Metal. And if you remember that movie, congratulations. You're old. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. The guitar work is turned up to 11 here with some nice hammer-ons and arpeggio work straight out of Queensryche or Megadeth. With lyrics like asphyxiating cries, harvest of fire, obliterating lies, fatal desire, burning within the eyes, death magnifier, eminent suicide, fatal desire. This is a solid track for the album to be named after. Raging Madness is up next, and it's the longest track on the album. The band puts on a clinic in how to play tight and together here, blasting out of the gate and focusing on both an instrumental sonic assault and telling a story with the trademark Sinister Whispered vocals. With group vocals reminiscent of a house party, this tune has a good old plain Jane metal feel. I could practically see the pit opening up in front of me. Just watch the camera, okay guys? My Patreon hasn't gotten that big yet. The fifth song is Fatal Desire, and this one's actually the shortest track on the album. Taking a break from the sonic assault, we're treated to some old-school instrumental Metallica-esque music here that reminded me of Call of Cthulhu and really shows the band for the musicians that they are. Even without lyrics, I could still hear a story and found myself making up in my head as my head bopped along. It was just what the listener needs before diving back into... wait for it? Silent Assassin, and I'm pretty sure they're not talking about me after Chilly Night. The 
blistering pace is back with more chugging guitar and a rhythm section that just won't quit. Lyrically, we're continuing the trend set by most of the album with lyrics like Desire harvest of lies as integrity cries, blinded by darkness, eyed, framed suicide, now they cheer and admire, hail the destruction of their kind. Up next is Risen, keeping the pace up and the rock hard. <laughs> the lyrical pace is a little different here. However, with overlapping vocals in an almost freeform style that's definitely influenced a little bit by Megadeth, musically, this is as classic metal as you can get, with power chords, driving drum beats, frenetic guitar solos, and a bass line that's in hyperdrive. Song number eight is Eternal Sorrow, keeping the classic metal theme going. We're treated to an opening straight out of many an Iron Maiden song. From there, it's back to the traditional Madzilla we know and love, with vocals and guitars bouncing off each other nicely. The guitar solo here is especially nice, with a great use of guitar harmonies sprinkled throughout. The next tune is Human, and this time the influence of old school Metallica rears its head with staccato beats and power chords forcing your head to start banging. This one shows off the band's musicianship again, with the vocals not kicking in until a minute and a half into the song. This is one of my favorites on the album, with some heavy breakdowns providing those much needed moments of suspense before the instrumental parts kick back in. And it's definitely going on my workout playlist. Finishing up the album is Let Me Die, and this one is quintessential Madzilla. There's the expected driving backbeat and blistering pace when suddenly things stop. Gasp. And then kick right back in again. I always appreciate writing with some dynamic tension. With lyrics like drowsiness is now becoming my addiction, every second I'm alive I lose control, suffering and agony is my affliction, desperation is the key to live no more. This one gets a little more introspective while still keeping things Madzilla. Combining melodic guitar riffs, relentless bass lines, and drums and vocals that are tight and focused, asphyxiating cries from Madzilla is a metalhead's dream and should definitely be on your headbanging playlist. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down below to get Asphyxiating Cries, the track and the album when they release it. Uh, make sure you follow them on social media. I've got the links down there. While you're at it, go ahead and support the channel if you'd like. I've got links for room6.shop. Well, not for this. <laughs> I've also got Patreon with patron-only content. Uh, I've also got some CDs for sale. There's ways that you can help out the channel, which helps out the local scene in the end. Um, other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do, and it really does help make a difference. Click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing. Happy New Year, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.